Bag secured, period. They hate and they mad, they furious. This dress from Fashion Nova, just in case you curious. This bag is serious. The math, delirious. Them haters are hearing it. They're One, two, one, two. Episode 23. We're doing it solo today. There's just too much I got to cover here. The roller coaster of human dysfunction we've all been forced to ride against our will here in this country is showing no signs of stopping. I was in Asheville, North Carolina a few weeks ago. I figured I'd escape into the mountains for some normalcy, but nope. Within five minutes of me walking out of my hotel room, I barely make it five blocks before I'm face to face with a man standing at an intersection doing limp biscuit covers for people waiting at the red light. I need it all for the nookie! The nookie! So you can take that cookie! Sing it up your yeah! Sing it up your yeah! Sing it up your yeah! Sing it up your But but here but here's the thing. He's got his guitar plugged into his headphones so nobody can hear it. Well, how the egg, either way. Hey, what the hell? What you want me to say? I won't lie that I can't deny. I mean, have you ever seen a street performer who only performs for himself? I went right up to him. I'm like, I need to document this because this is new behavior the world is yet to see. Sing it up your yeah! Sing it up your yeah! You know, he's got his guitar case open on the side so he could tip him. But why would anyone tip you? You're not doing anything for us. You're playing for yourself in your headphones. We can't hear you. You know, then I'm walking around and I end up over at the art gallery because, you know, I'm a very refined individual. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, you know, two hours go by and I look out the window and he's still out there. So this is just going on all day. He's made no money. All he had to do was just put a little speaker there. He's doing this for nothing. I mean, that was just a precursor of the things that I saw in this town. Don't get me wrong. I had a great time over there. The art and music scene is great. But man, there is some weird shit going on in that town. I'm doing a whole rundown on this place on my Patreon today. So if you want to hear some of these stories, find me on there. I don't know, man. We got a lot of dysfunction to talk about today. Kanye West. Everyone's pissed off at Kanye West. I'm more concerned about his cheeks. <laughs> Has anyone noticed this? What is going on here? He looks like he's been rummaging around the forest storing acorns in his mouth. He's starting to look like that other guy, DJ Academics. They're like the modern-day Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I mean, what are they, preparing for a role here? <laughs> is there a live-action reboot of the show in the works? I mean, if there is, this might be a good move for their public image here. Everybody loves the Rescue Rangers. I don't know. But let me give a shout out to my sponsor first um, for supporting the show. Christmas is coming. Let this be a reminder. I always wait till the last minute to do shopping. I always regret it. Um, now is the time, though, to get those Raycons because this is when all the deals happen. The other thing is I always forget the stocking stuffer. And these things are perfect for that. They got all these specials going on. You do one of the holiday bundles. That'll save you 30%. I like the all-star bundle. You get the everyday earbuds and the fitness earbuds. Yeah, both of these are great. And you won't look like a goober with those two little white stems hanging out of your ear like that other brand. You can get these in stores, but the best deal is through me. You got to use my special link, buyraycon.com slash joeybvs and use code earlybf. That's 20% off any Raycon product, which almost never happens. Or, or do one of the holiday bundles. You'll save 30% off that way. That's code EARLYBF at buyraycon.com slash joeybvs for 20% off your Raycon purchase. Buyraycon.com slash joeybvs. I saw this uh, before I turned the mic on today. Apparently some TikTok zero decided to hit golf balls into the Grand Canyon a few weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously hikers down there, animals, but she doesn't care, though. No, anything for likes and views. 
I mean, one look at her TikTok account, you could see this is just your typical no talent narcissist, just constantly objectifying and degrading herself. You know, the type of person we all raise our daughters to become, right? Yeah, Jesus. Anyway, the actual Grand Canyon National Park had to make a Facebook post to the public with her picture saying, do we really need to say don't hit golf balls into the Grand Canyon? Yeah, it's 2022. You do. <laughs> you really should make her go down there and retrieve the club and all the balls she hit. And don't let her back up until she finds them all. That's what I would do. <laughs> I, I feel like no one ever hands out the proper punishments to these people. I know they charged her and everything. She has to go to court over it. I mean, they'll probably fine her. But those things don't usually stop dummies from being dummies. You got to make them feel how dumb they are before they can do anything about it. It's like step one of recovery, admitting you have a problem. So maybe if she was down in the Grand Canyon at three in the morning, pitch black looking for golf balls, maybe she'd have a moment of clarity and say to herself, I'm doing this because I'm an idiot. This must be why I was sent down here. No one else has to do this. So maybe I make poor decisions. Or you could do like a top golf night at the Grand Canyon. You know, top golf, it's like a bar restaurant with a golf course attached to it. Yeah, you could clear out a section of the Grand Canyon, relocate the animals, put a fence around the area, put her in it. Then at the top of the Grand Canyon, put some tables, a bucket of beer, a bucket of balls, and invite people over, have a top top golf night at the Grand Canyon, and just, just hit some golf balls in there, like just like she did. Just do everything that she did. I think we should try new ways of waking these people up to their stupidity. You got to embarrass them. Don't forget, these people live for attention and validation from society online. So if the only attention they get is secondhand embarrassment, then maybe they'll change their ways. I don't know. What they really should do is they should come out with an app like a TikTok tracker that alerts you if there's any TikTokers in your vicinity so that you can avoid them. Like if you want to take your family to a park, you know, with the app, you can see who's there before you go like an alert that says this area has a high volume of TikTokers present. You know, zoom in and you can see specifically where they are. Like, oh, it looks like there's people having conniptions by the swing sets. Can't go there. Uh, oh, looks like uh, Sonic the Emo Hog has uh, occupied the picnic table area. No, it's not your fault but mine. No, it's your heart on the line. You know, it'd be a good tool to have. The, the ones that get me are the ones that do it on purpose in front of people so they can't get past them. So that, like they have to stop everything so everyone pays attention to them. There's this one kid I always see. It's like every single video that he does, it's always just right in front of people so they can't move. Like there's one where he's on a plane. Like, like okay, these people can't get off the plane. Now they got to wait till he has his fit. You know, it's just like... Like, look, he's in a crowd here. Like, everybody's got to go around him. I mean, at least there's space over here. But th it's like the, the plane thing. It's like there's nowhere to go. And no one's ever impressed by what they're doing ever. Everyone's just annoyed by them or, or just looking around like, what the fuck is this? But in their head, they think they're doing something special, like they're talented or something. Nobody, nobody cares. Like, do they think they're going to get the same reaction as someone playing like the saxophone in the subway or like having a band or something where people are playing instruments? I mean, they, usually those kind of people get get a little crowd around them and they get some claps and, you know, people appreciate them. But these people, it's like you're not doing anything. Stop forcing people to look at you. Just keep it in your bedroom. Stop seeping into society with this nonsense. Nobody cares about this. This is this like you're going to be in 20 years. You're going to be embarrassed that you did this. Like there needs to be trap doors on the ground for these people. Businesses should be allowed to implement those. I'm for that. I don't get it. You know what else I don't get? This Megan Fox machine gun Kelly thing. Yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes. How long is this going to go on for? Now she's saying, kill me or get me pregnant. Now, just based on this photo here, are we sure that that wasn't him that said that to her? I mean, the guy looks like a powder puff girl. I, I have a feeling it's him that wants to be impregnated. I think they got the story wrong. 
They should look into this. We'll have to see if they do a retraction. Let me bleed on you. I watched this interview with Kanye and Chris Cuomo. Yeah, that hypocrite. Remember when he pretended to care about the mask thing? Look at these fools. Fools. I know they want to be out there. Fools. It's not about you. What about the other people? And look, I'm not going to castigate you. That's not my job. I'm not your daddy. But we have to think about this. And then the reality. CNN anchor Chris Cuomo has been caught again gallivanting around New York without a protective mask. Cuomo was reportedly seen on the weekend in a New York City members club, not wearing a mask and walking around to greet people as if he were the mayor. Yeah, so now his new thing is he tries to pretend to care about Kanye West. Here's my concern for you. When I hear how you talk about your personal life and you put things out there and you get into these looping thoughts of what you believe, um, it sounds to me like you are sometimes out of control. Oh, I'm only I'm worried about you, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> we already know the guy's got problems. Hasn't he been open about that? I don't I don't follow enough Kanye West to really know what his deal is. I could have sworn I saw something where he, he talked about that he's got bipolar. I'm trying to make sure that you're healthy and you're taking care of no, your health. I, 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 did you work out this morning? No. <laughs> then he goes, I take my antidepressants every day. But, but, let but me I took my something. antidepressant Why? medication that I take Why every day. I? Well, shouldn't we be concerned for you then? I mean, you're taking pills with the side effects of suicide. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I don't think somebody severely depressed like that should be working in the media doing this type of job. This can't be good for him. I mean, look at him. You ever look in his eyes? He always, he always looks like he's like a day away from jumping off a bridge. I'm not even kidding here. Honest to God, look at his eyes. You mean to say that you can't see some level of sadness? I read something a while ago about how he doesn't even like what he does. It was some interview in some magazine or website or something. Yeah, it was on his radio show. He says he doesn't like what he does professionally. I don't want to spend my time doing things that I don't think are valuable enough to me personally like what well i don't like what i do professionally i've decided i would be way more concerned with this man's livelihood than kanye west i just hope that you're taking care of yourself the phony concern on their faces that's the thing that gets me the worst you're just disingenuous i do believe that your health should be a concern for you and that you take yeah, care thank of you. It. it's about my health it's not about my truth it's not all about you your spend, health you i think that you believe thank these you things much. you know what? i don't even care I, I don't even want to talk about it anymore so much dysfunction going on george bush doesn't care about black people Anyway, I got to send a thank you to my uh, guys over at ExpressVPN2 today for uh, supporting the show. The Christmas movies are going to be taken over soon. I, I got to admit, I like Christmas movies. I, I, I love the Griswold one. That's, that's probably my favorite one. I like the old Peanuts stuff, like all, all the old school animation. I love all that stuff. Like some people don't realize that there's movies that you can't get in your country that you can get in other countries. This is where ExpressVPN comes in handy. Like you ever search for something and it's just not there, right? Well, that doesn't mean that they don't have it. It's just not available in your country, but this is the workaround. When you get ExpressVPN, it lets you change your location online. You could pick between a hundred different countries. See, then you could just find some of these Christmas shows or movies that, that you haven't been seeing on there and, and all the other genres. And you could use this for pretty much all the streaming sites. There's an app for this, too. You could do this on your phone, tablet, uh, on your TV. I always have it running. So get your money's worth and get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free when you go to expressvpn.com slash joeybvs. That's expressvpn.com slash joeybvs. We got people gluing themselves to things. Now, this, this this hasn't stopped yet. First, it was the Van Gogh painting. That Now, it's all these other paintings. that They've thrown mashed potatoes and tomato soup. And, and they're gluing themselves to cars. Here's one gluing his head to a painting. Uh, this is the girl with a pearl earring. Yeah, now they got to rename it. Girl with an invalid glued to her head. 
Jesus. How come you never see them glue their heads to the freeway? Oh, never mind. This guy beat everyone to it. Oh, this one looks like it was last year. This is in Great Britain. Good God, man. They had to use scissors to remove him. Oh, this was on a tarmac. Protester who glued face to road admits it wasn't one of my better moves. Like, what other moves are you making, dude? <laughs> I feel like this is the type of dude that would get his Johnson stuck in a vacuum. It's so crazy out there. Did you see that girl, uh, Emily Radagowski? She bought her son a set of dolls to offset his obsession with toy trucks. He's a one-year-old. And then she's posting these photos of herself in the bathtub with her kid, naked. Like, it's like, what, what are you doing? Yeah, let's share that with the world so that when he grows up and goes to school, his peers can remind him of that photo. I mean, like, th like how do these people not know where this leads to? There's this weird obsession with certain women in the public who are obsessed with being naked and just constantly sharing photos of themselves completely naked. I mean, they just roll them right off the tongue. Chelsea Handler does this. It's constantly any reason to be naked. Amy Schumer constantly looking for reasons to be naked. Britney Spears, they're always naked. Like, don't they realize that the youth sees this and thinks that it's normal to objectify themselves? I mean, look what you see online from the youth. You see they're twerking on, in grocery stores, OnlyFans accounts. I mean, like it's just like... And nobody wants to have the conversation about how this opens the doors to predators. But everybody's concerned about sexual harassment, the Me Too thing and everything. And it's like, but when you tie it to that, they try to make it out that you're victim blaming. All right, then let me just do what you want me to do then. Let me have a daughter. You know, I'm going through her Instagram now. She's twerking in grocery stores. She's uh, she's half nude in all of her photos. She's got an OnlyFans. What, what am I supposed to do? Oh, that's good, honey. You're very empowering and brave. I'm very, very proud of you. Is is that what I should be doing? But if I were to go, do you see the type of people you're attracting by doing this, honey? These people are whacking it to your photos. You're becoming material for perverts. Like if your daughter goes to a party with a short skirt and a short shirt on, you're going to try to pretend that there's not a group of guys at that party that see that as a green light? Do you know what those type of guys think when they see a girl online posting provocative photos or at a party showing a lot of skin? They think it's a green light. They go, if she's willing to show the world her body or the entire school most of her body, surely it'll be easy to get her to show me all of it. Why do you think these people call these girls easy? It's like there's certain people that can't acknowledge that because they think by pointing that out, that's you taking away the blame from the aggressor. That's not true. Someone who holds you against your will and does bad things to you is always 100% responsible. <laughs> Nobody's denying that. But we have the ability to put ourselves in vulnerable positions to be harmed. You're going to try to pretend that there's not a group of guys at that party that see that as a green light to treat that girl like a piece of meat. You're putting yourself at risk. And then they try to vilify men for having this perspective as if it's some kind of like misogynistic patriarchal stance. Like, get the fuck out of here. I mean, if I'm off base here, so then every father who wants his daughter to dress respectfully is off base too. What is the point of protecting your daughter then? Is it just, there's no need for it? I, I just, I don't, I, honest to God, like try to have this discussion with certain people. Like, find, like, like if you know somebody who likes to be naked online all the time and are just, just talk to them, have this conversation. They'll, they'll, they, you can't, they'll, you'll hit a wall with them. I promise you, I, I've, I've gone through this before. I just feel like there, we do such a disservice to the youth by normalizing this stuff. I mean, these kids are so confused these days to begin with. 
They're so impressionable now more than ever. All that's coming at them. I, I don't even think we're even equipped to be able to handle the amount of information that, that comes at us with this social media nonsense and the internet. I mean, like, you see what's happening with this generation. So many of them are lost. So many of them are have anxiety. Uh, they don't want to work. They, they get overwhelmed so easy. I mean, I, I saw this video of this kid <laughs> he working at Starbucks <laughs> on the verge of tears where he is crying uh, about just having to work and go to school. Look at this, it's incredible. People wonder why we need a union at Starbucks and I am literally about to quit. Like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but like, I really want to. I almost walked out today and I'm crying in the back room right now and I almost cried on the floor. It's just, <laughs> I like I get, I'm like a full-time student. I get scheduled for 25 hours a week and then on weekends they schedule me the entire day open to close up on the schedule for eight and a half hours. You mean like what everybody has to do? I'm like three and a half hours into my shift. There's so many customers and we have four people on the floor all day. <laughs> Only five people were put on the schedule and somebody had to call out. And there are four people running the whole store and there's so many customers and there's possibly scheduled five people. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect to do before? What do you? Ex how do you expect to make money before you have a career? You got to do shitty jobs. You got to do jobs you don't want to do. You're paying your dues. Everybody has to do this. Like, what do they think when they when they hear about people coming over to America in like the late 1800s on a fucking ship, you know? And then they got to work on a railroad, you know? They live in a house with no electricity, probably. I mean, it's just... We only have 13 people employed at this store. And there's so many customers. And they got good... How do, you, how do you expect to gain any respect from society being this way? I, I just, and why would you film this moment? You know how embarrassing this is? Why would you capture this? What would you like to get out of this? Like donations? <laughs> like, like a hug? What are you looking for here? We don't have fair scheduling. Managers don't care about us. Our manager was supposed to come in this weekend and he took himself off the schedule so he wouldn't be able to be held accountable for calling out. He just literally tore down the schedule that he was scheduled on and put up a new schedule where he wasn't on the schedule. Also, he couldn't have even seen that he was scheduled in the first place because he didn't want to be held accountable for not wanting to come in. <laughs> I mean, this is forever now. This is recorded forever. I'm like at my wits end with this job. I really am. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the fan mail. If you got anything you want to send to the show, you can address it to Joey B vs. The World or Joey B Tunes, however you want to address it. 178 Columbus Ave, 237190, New York, New York, 10023. All right, let's do one of these. Uh, here's a letter from Addison. She writes, Dear Joey, I'm 12 years old and me and my friends love watching your videos. Smart kids. Because none of us have TikTok. Bright kids. <laughs> or any other social media platform. Geniuses. And uh, by the way, round of applause to the parents because that's excellent parenting. I lost one of my best friends because she turned into the biggest jerk I know. All she cares about is how many likes and follows she has on her TikTok videos. Well, it sounds like you dodged a bullet there. Yeah, rule of thumb, never be friends with a TikToker. Could you imagine still being her friend, how annoying she'd be? <laughs> I try to be friends with girls, but all they do is create drama. So now all my friends are guys. Anyways, I want you to know how much me and my friends appreciate you and your videos. P.S. Please write me back because my friends don't think you're going to read it. Thank you. Well, it looks like I did one better. Um, now there's proof. And honestly, I don't have any advice for you because it sounds like you're on the right track. I mean, you don't have any social media. You've eliminated TikTokers out of your, your friend circle. I feel like you deserve some kind of a medal. It sounds like your parents did a good job with you. You should listen to them for the rest of your life. <laughs> anyway, let's go out on a high note. This was a feel-good ending. Look, guys, uh, if you want more, I'm on the Patreon. 
uh, I'm on social media. I, I, I pretty much shadow ban on everything on Facebook and Instagram. I have people tell me they can't even find me on there, even when they, they search my name, but give it a try. Uh, you can connect with me on there, Patreon. Um, but anyway, I'm going to run guys. This was fun. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>